you're going to need a 14 millimeter wrench to remove the slide pins and free the caliper. There's one at the top and one at the bottom. Once the slide pins are removed, you can try to remove the caliper. Keep in mind that the pistons are on the opposite side. So if you need to press the pistons, you just have to pull the caliper towards you. Just make sure that the car is uh, stable on a jack stand and uh, doesn't fall on you. I tend to place the caliper on top of the hub to avoid putting tension on the brake line. You can remove the brake pads from the bracket and if they're stuck, you can use a screwdriver and a hammer, but be careful not to scratch the disc if you want to uh, reuse it. I'm not going to reuse it, I'm going to change it so it doesn't really matter. In my case, I left one in because I'm going to remove the full bracket to put it on a vice. I'm using a 19mm socket to remove the two bracket bolts. Now I got it loose and you can see an example of very thin brake pads. If you're having a hard time removing the disc from the hub, you might have to hammer it from behind, but then you can't really reuse that disc anymore because it's going to be slightly warped. Now, before installing the new rotor, make sure that you use brake parts cleaner to remove the oil, but you can also use a degreaser. For the cleanup part, I put the bracket in my bench vise and I'm starting by removing the old stainless steel clips. All right, now let's flip it, do the other side, and it's the same story. You can put a little bit of silicone brake lubricant in the stainless steel clip if you want the brake pads to slide easily. You'll also use it to lubricate the slide pins. Here, I'm reassembling the bracket and you can use some anti-seize on the 19mm bolts if you want. But uh, as you can see, the uh, brake pads are already there. I think I lost the footage, but I put in the bracket first and then the brake pads should slide in easily. And for those interested in torque specs, for the caliper bracket, it's 122 foot-pounds for the 19mm bolts. And for the caliper's slide pins, it's 20 foot-pounds for the 14 millimeters. All right. You can use a specific tool to compress the caliper pistons, but as you can see here, I'm using a C-clamp. You want to press them evenly. I could have used one of the old brake pads to press uh, both piston evenly with the C-clamp. So, now it's two years after I've done this brake job and after two brake maintenances, you can see that the brake contact is still excellent. As of this video, I'm still not monetized on YouTube, so if you could subscribe that would help a lot. And you can leave a comment and I can try to answer your questions in the comment section. Thanks for watching.